ready to go. Okay, so the thing about pumping is you've got to do it, you've got to put your, was it, as you get into it, because it pumps on the upstroke and the downstroke, you've got to put your body on it now to lean into it, right? Because it gets really difficult. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do it in slow, steady strokes. Okay, so we're nowhere near 200 bar yet. I'm about 70 kgs. So watch this. That's 70 kgs on it. I'm barely closing it. So if you're going to use a pump, remember, you've got to be over 70 kgs to make it work, really. So I don't let that go down now. That's not going to happen. I'm going to show you the hand pump and technique. I'm nearly just at 200 bar. These things, if you're uh, 70 kilos and under, you're just not going to be able to use a hand pump because you won't have enough uh, weight in you to do this. This rug had a shirt on. It's been rubbed on there, getting a bit of a gut again. That's no good. But anyway, uh, if you don't let it go below 100 bar, it's a bit easier. You know, trust me. Okay, so this is the kind of technique I'm using. I'll see if I can demonstrate it here. You see that? Like, that's not, that's my full weight. And that's not going. So you've got to, you can't do that. You've got to come down and, like that. You see that? Okay, that's what the hat sound says. Just a fraction over 200. I'm going to depressurize the line now. line over here once the pressure's off all right okay put that down there and before we do another thing put the light on there please cameraman I'm gonna put this onto here okay to protect that okay so this is the hat sand foot pump that took me like you know I couldn't pump it continuously I weigh 70 kilos and it took some uh, it takes some skill to use these things so you're as efficient as possible uh, if you weigh less than 70 kilos you're just not going to be able to use a foot pump definitely you know um, absolutely not but anyway let's just have a look here again put the light on there camera assistant please uh, let's get that in focus there it is there that's the that's the bleed valve here to take the pressure off the line when you're finished as I said and and when you tighten it back up the idea is not to crank the daylights out of it just just to tighten it so it's just tight You'll know if you haven't got it right because the pressure won't increase on the gauge up there. Okay, so I've locked this pump down here again so it can't be damaged because you don't want the shaft being damaged. All right, uh, now we've got the, the gun pumped up. We're going to disconnect the line here and there's no pressure in there. So we should be able to do that safely. There you go. Yep, and, and that's it. And we're going to put the cap back on straight away. The protective cap. Right, there you go. All right, ready for action.